So egg prices, as we know, they've been at an all-time high, and a lot of people are curious about having their own chickens and their own eggs so they can have, they think, an endless supply. Now, Hawthorne Country Stores Chick Day is happening this Saturday. They're going to educate a lot of people, a lot of families, about what it takes to raise chickens the right way. Heather is joining us. You're from the Hawthorne Country Store. Right. I can't believe how much you were able to bring to our studios here. Well, we wanted to give a good example Thank of you. some ways to raise babies so that people yes. can kind of get an idea of what they might have to do to set it up. Let's start before we get into all of this. Um, mm -hmm. What has been the interest? What have you seen? Are people calling you? It's wanting crazy. This? <laughs> like we're completely sold out of adult hands, which wow. never happens. Um, and the baby chicks come in every week and we're sold out every Saturday morning. No way. Every Saturday morning. So, so people want their own chickens and their do. own eggs. Okay. They do. And, and it's look a fun at how thing. cute they are. <laughs> here, I'm going to hand you this. This is a pea okay, pod to hold this. little baby chicken Right. Here. So, one, so okay. one hand under, one hand over. One so hand we can't. Under. There you go. You got it. Are you cozy? <laughs> I can't believe there's a little <laughs> chick like in my hand right now. This is adorable. Hi, baby. And this, um, is like it almost looks like a cupcake holder. It is. It, it's really meant for children so that children can handle chickens in a safe way. And that's yeah. really our focus. Our goal is people can get into homesteading on a very small scale right. or a very big scale. Okay. And we want to do it safely. And the fact that there's been such an interest can be a good thing, right? If people are learning and doing the right way. Right. And that's why you're here, Heather. That is why we're here. Okay. What, what are the misconceptions? Let's start with that. What do people think they're going to get into when they have chicks? So they think they're going to get chickens and that they're going to get eggs immediately mm -hmm. and that's just not going to happen okay. so first year if you bring home babies yeah. um, you're like going to take about six months before you okay. get that first egg so you've invested a lot of time and effort yeah. into that before you get an egg because this baby is not going to have eggs not anytime not soon six months from now about though. six months oh. anywhere from four to eight months but okay. somewhere in there and then um, our buddy here hi she's laying every day right now <laughs> she's, I, mean, I met the gentleman that's holding her oh, oh that husband okay that husband. Hi. Um, yeah, so you're holding this, is this a full-grown chicken? This I'm is the same, this same breed, grown okay. all the way up. Oh. So this is a full-grown oh. hen, and she's currently laying in our home flock. She lays a nice brown egg nice. every day, well, every other day. Okay. And it's lovely. Um, and she's a two-year-old, so she's going to lay really well this year, and then she's going to, next year, start to slow down. Okay. So we don't lay forever, ever. Right. But it is an investment in time, so when they go into henopause and they're not laying anymore. <laughs> henopause happens, okay. Right. Right, hand yes. happens, then we have to decide what are we going to do with our pets now, right? Right, right. So okay. Choices. So people need to understand that it's not an endless supply of eggs, which I'm sure people are hoping for because they're so expensive right now. Right, right. And so we want to teach people that they mm -hmm. can store their eggs. Okay. So when we when the chickens go through molt, which is a normal thing that happens in winter, yeah. then they don't have eggs. There's ways that we can store eggs so we have eggs to use in the winter. Okay. We just want to educate people that they can do this if they're prepared prepared and mm -hmm. they understand all of the ins and outs. Right. And then these eggs are these from This some is my, of your, my home chickens. Your yeah. home chickens. Yeah, okay. this little white one's from my Polish. She's super oh, cute. I love this it. is from our Easter eggers, the blue <laughs> ones. So sweet. And I mean I can't believe all the little baby chicks that you were able to bring. We're gonna have over 120 wow. varieties of baby poultry on Saturday okay. to choose oh, from. Okay. It's crazy. It's yeah. Chicken bedlam. It's, <laughs> it's nuts, but so much fun. And obviously, be, we're in this kind of egg shortage crisis, if you will, uh, partly because of the bird flu. Right. Right. So that's impacted nationwide. Okay. Um, yeah. If you want to hold this little one, I don't want to make you uncomfortable. She's good. She's so cute. She is. Um, so uh, tell me about that. Is that a concern in San Diego? It is. In fact, we talk about that in our classes okay. and all. Um, we really want to make sure people understand good biohazard security. Mm -hmm. we, we follow the California Department of Food and Agriculture's suggestions on biohazard and cleaning. Um, they also come and test our facility every 30 days because we want to make sure we're doing everything right. right and we're passing that yeah. information along. Because people are coming to buy more chicks every Absolutely. weekend, as you're saying. Right. Um, and some of the things we've noticed, it does take cleaning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can't just buy these chicks and forget about them. I mean, it no. requires work. Tell yeah, us about that. Yeah, like, so this is a brooder setup. What okay. Brooding is basically what Mama Hen does. She keeps them warm and protected, yeah. food and water and you everything the in lamp, here. The water. So there's a heat source always. Okay. They need to be 95 
down to 100 degrees oh. for the first week. Like, wow. it's surprisingly warm. I like your style, little ones. I miss <laughs> that kind of weather. <laughs> so you can do it lots of ways. I mean, yeah. you can do it a, even in a tank like this or a plastic bin. It okay. can be done lots of ways. Um, and so it doesn't have to be a huge investment, but it right. is an investment in your time. And you need space because they're going to grow. And they need to be inside. You can't think you're going to do this outside. They okay. just don't have the, the right weather to make that happen So a little yet. chicken house, if you will. Or right. what do you call it, that? Well, inside, <laughs> inside for brooding and oh, then brooding. you can do okay. a coop in about eight weeks. A coop, okay. So once they grow a little bit more, right. then you take them outside, mm -hmm. but you, they need a place to roam. They do. They, they Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They need a run. They okay. need to be predator proofed. Mm -hmm. We have to go through all of that process to make sure right. that we're doing everything because we have coyotes and we have weasels and we yeah. have all these things. So we, we, we're, we are here to help people do okay. that well. Or your neighborhood dog. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's all these things to think about because in the city, people are wanting to do this too. Um, real quick, I know you have this big event Saturday. Yes. How, when and where, how can people take part in this? Okay, so Fallbrook, Escondido, and Santee okay. starts at 9 a.m. We do suggest if you have your heart set on a specific breed, you get there early because there will be a line. Okay, there is a high demand. Thank you all for being here and for bringing all of your knowledge and these adorable chicks. It's so Thank good to see you. you. Well,